Hi guys, today I wanna to talk about goals. Like, you know, those big goals that we have for ourselves, those things we really wanna accomplish. Um, I don't know about you, but you've probably had a time, you know, I know I have anyways, a time where you set out to lose weight or a time where you have identified that you are gonna save money or a time that you said you were gonna start working out more, stop smoking or start that business or launch that podcast or start that blog or whatever it may be. And then as much as you desire it and as much as you feel motivated and pumped and excited to make it happen, life gets the best of you, life gets in the way. Um, we've all had that time at one time or another, right? I, I see it a lot around New Year's when we all have these huge New Year's resolutions, these big things that big things that we want to accomplish. And um, sorry, my daughter was calling me. The big things that we want to accomplish. And then, you know, they have titled National Quitters Day as January 12th, meaning by January 12th, everyone has already quitting and get, quit and given up on their goals. Um, and that's not because they don't want it it's because goals take a lot of work think about it if you're driving somewhere new you've never been there before you're going to plug it into your gps because you need a path to get there you need a blueprint or directions to be able to get there the problem is when we set goals we somehow think that it'll just easily land in our lap that it won't require any work um that we can just make it happen and so those goals stay stuck in our head and they never come to fruition in our life because we don't know how to take the goal in our head and actually put it into action, how to make it practical. Um, and again, it's not because you don't want it. It's just because it. how do you know what to do? This is what I'm so passionate about because I see people setting goals year after year after year after year. I remember working at this call center and there was this girl that I sat next to that said that she was going to start a blog. This was years ago. She wanted to start a single parent, a mom single parenting blog um, just about being a single parent. And I thought it was a super dope idea. Like there's so many single parents that need support, that need help, that need all of that. But she never acted on it, right? She's kept talking about it year after year after year. And I don't know about you, but when you keep talking about goals year after year, you get disheartened, you get discouraged, you get frustrated, and you feel like you're not supposed to do it. But I am a firm, 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 firm believer that God does not give you goals by accident. God gives you goals that he desires for you to reach. In fact, I believe that even if the goal doesn't make sense, you know, one of my favorite quotes is by Martin Luther King, faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. And so sometimes we have to take the first step and God will illuminate the next step that we need to take, but we got to be willing to do it. Anyways, I say all of that to say that goals, goal setting is something that I'm very passionate about. I think that there's too many of us that live very limited lives, um, limited life now life's plural, <laughs> um, a very limited life in the sense that like we have these big goals, these big things that we know that we're called to do. We feel that, you know, it keeps us up at night. We talk about it. People tell us we're called to do it. But when it comes to actually playing it out or acting on it, we don't go after it. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be real. I'm going to call it spade a spade. When you don't go after your goal that you know you're called to do, you're selling not only yourself, but the entire world short. So we have to stop complicating what we know we're called to do. We have to stop Stop complicating the process we have to stop overthinking it we have to stop making it difficult we have to stop making it feel like it's impossible and actually go after setting our goals like go after stop talking about it but be about it stop allowing obstacles or life to really get in the way because here's the thing things will always get in the way and there will be times where you need to change the path a little bit okay but you don't change the goal you can still change it and get there I think back, honestly, I wanted to write a book back in, I want to say 2008, 2007, something like that, and never did it because I had adopted this belief that I couldn't do it because my teacher didn't believe I was a strong writer. Now, had I still been saying that all these years later, I wouldn't be at where I'm at currently, being able to have the impact that I have, being able to... Um, just express myself and share bits and pieces of my story. And it's bigger than in books, like we're called to do something. And I'm grateful that I stepped outside of my comfort zone and just allowed myself to go after it. Now, going after your goals will require you to be, to step outside of fear a little bit. You're gonna feel a lot of fear, but you know, one of my favorite quotes is feel the fear and do it anyways. Fear is nothing but false evidence appearing real, meaning fear is not real. You can move past it, move beyond it, and when you do, You'll be so grateful from the other side looking in like, oh my God, I'm so glad that I showed up for myself the way that I knew I needed to. Um, so one thing that I'm really, really passionate about is helping women not just talk about their goals, but to actually be about their goals, meaning bringing their goals into fruition. And I do this, I've been studying for the last several months. Well, I've been studying the subconscious mind in general for a few years, um, especially like through my, my counseling pra practice. Um, I learned a lot of like techniques 
But through my coaching certification program, I have learned about neuro-linguistic neurolingu programming. So really the way we process our thoughts and the way it impacts on our life. I have learned about like tapping, um, meaning like energy and where energy is trapped in our body and how we're able to move beyond that and release ourselves from negative energy. I have learned about hypnosis and really getting to the root of the subconscious mind because Here's the thing, our, our life is a reflection of our thoughts. And if at the base of our subconscious mind is negative thoughts, that the reflection of our life is also going to be those same negative thoughts. So I've learned how to get to the root of it and actually be able to bring about the change that we desire. And here's the thing, I'm gonna be really honest. When I started to learn these things, I got angry because I'm like, there are people that have been desiring to have shifts like this, but haven't been able to make them for years, right? Not even months later or weeks later, but like years, people that have been working on making massive shifts, they've been able to, they've been taking years or, or months to be able to get there. Whereas these programs that I'm working through and, and working with my clients on, they're able to make massive breakthroughs like this within moments. You know, just in the last three weeks, I've helped um, one young man get rid of his like productivity blocks, like where he's struggling with being produ productive and actually enjoying putting the work towards his job and just his life in general. And he's increased his productivity and is even getting ready to start a podcast. I've helped another girl just really break free of anxiety and depression that has been bogging her down. I've helped another lady with insomnia. Um, I helped my cousin um, overcome like his Twitter addiction. I've helped um, another young lady who was struggling with like emotional eating and was eating these cereal bars. She hasn't touched cereal bars in weeks. I've helped another lady who was driving past Starbucks every day and she was tired of spending her money in Starbucks, tired of drinking coffee, because it's not good to drink it extensively. Stop drinking coffee like this. She told me it, coffee tastes like trash, doesn't even like the smell anymore. Um, but all of these have been massive shifts over moments, right? Things that they've been working on. The one lady with, um, the coffee addiction was talking about like how much weight she's lost because she was putting so much like sugar and um, cream into her coffee. And so not only is she saving money, she's not drinking coffee, so it's not a distraction. She's not running late from work, but she's losing weight. So these are shifts that she's been working on since the beginning of 2020. And here we are, we did it three weeks ago and within a week she had already made that massive shift. And so I, I see these tools as like life changing, but I'm frustrated because I'm like, it's almost a crime that people don't know how life changing these tools are. It's almost a crime that people aren't taking the initiative to break free of these it's almost a crime that people don't know that this is even possible that it's almost a crime that we don't realize how powerful we really are so one thing i'm really passionate about as a coach is to be able to teach you these tools is to be able to teach you to take your big desires dreams hopes passions and actually turn them into something not keep not to keep talking about what you hope can happen but actually making it happen actually speaking it into existence actually believing god for it actually watching it come to fruition in your life so so if you are struggling at a stuck state and you're like, I have this big goal, but there's somewhere where I'm just struggling with moving forward. I've tried it for years. Nothing seems to work. I am offering a goal set, a goal strategy breakthrough session. Okay. And the reason I call it a breakthrough session is because we're going to break through those limiting beliefs. We're going to break through those mindset blocks. We're going to break through those obstacles and barriers that have allowed you to believe that your goal doesn't matter or have allowed you to believe that you're not as special as so-and-so that's accomplishing their goal and actually taking that goal and bringing it to life, actually taking that goal and bringing it forward. So if you desire if you are ready, you're done with the excuses, you're done with the exceptions, and you realize ain't nothing special about anybody else that you see that you can accomplish exactly what it is that you wanna accomplish as well, then sign up using the link below to, um, I'm sorry, yeah, sign up, DM, you can write below and say that you're interested or DM me and let me know, like I'm interested and I wanna get in and we'll schedule a session and we'll jump right in and this session will be life changing so don't hesitate don't wait don't talk yourself out of it there's no better time than now so again write below that you're interested and i'll connect with you or just directly dm me and we'll chat and we'll make it happen trust me this is not a session that you want to miss i'm only opening up four spots so i want to make sure to um make sure that it's intensive i want to make sure that it's i'm sorry intimate is a better word i want to make sure it's intimate but because it's an intimate it's an intensive session that i want to make sure you really get a breakthrough with okay so definitely let me know below. Um, it's going to be a decision that you make today that your future self will thank you for. So I'm looking forward to connecting with you. I'm looking forward to help you, helping you take that goal and bring it in to fruition. All right, I will chat with you guys very soon.